No one can change his body type purely from something like being a nectomorph to a pure mesomorph. But a nectomorph can absolutely gain more muscle and bulk up with the right diet and exercise routine. One of the best goals to try is training the optimal system for your own existing body type. We'll dig into that. But first, let's talk about the variations in body types. Let's have a look to how we're made. When putting together the right workout plan, there are several things to consider. Bone structure has a little to do with this in terms of what your body can support. And this is determined by genetics. There are three principal categories that most people fall into. Ectomorph body type. This is the tall, lanky individual who has difficulty putting on weight of any kind muscle or fat. High metabolisms are common in these individuals. Mesomorph body type. This is commonly thought of as the V-shaped frame in the torso. Mesomorphs bulk muscle more easily and have a fast metabolism. Endomorph body type. This body type consists of higher body fat percentages, a body shaped like a pear, and is much more likely to store fat. A person can also have a combination of these types. For instance, as someone loses weight, they can often shift from being purely an endomorph to more of a mesomorph. By losing fat and gaining muscle, their body starts to show a more muscular frame. The workout plan is only part of the equation. Diet also has a lot to do with it. So let's go over the basics there. Training for each body type. Working with your body is easier than working against it. For this reason, in terms of maintaining your fitness level, tailoring your program to your body type can help you stick with it. Trying to train a mesomorph like a cross-country athlete will likely result in injury or at the very least strong discomfort. This dramatically decreases the likelihood that you will stick with your program, which does you a great disservice. So let's go through ideal programming for each type. Ectomorph training. For ectomorphs, heavy strength training is likely going to be problematic. They are lean with likely high metabolisms, and as such, they should train this. Think circuit training that involves moderate resistance. People with this body type can often go for longer durations as well so keep that in mind. High intensity interval training can do great things for developing a six pack or toning their arms and legs, as this will help burn through any extra fat stores they have. Body weight exercises are generally a good idea with this population. This way, they don't overload themselves too much and they're still able to really thrive in their fitness goals. This isn't to say avoid strength training at all, but only to say that it's likely best to not make heavyweight training the primary focus for this group like you would a mesomorph. Also, interval training, in general, can be a great way for ectomorphs to stay engaged in their workouts. For this population, consider a lot of the regular dumbbell exercises, focus on isolating muscle groups like you do with bicep curls, and go strong with their obique exercise. Mesomorph training. Mesomorphs bulk muscle easily. They will likely get a lot out of training with heavy weights just be sure to focus on their form. With people of this type, their upper body likely has broad shoulders and a tight waist, allowing for most typical barbell exercises as well as high intensity interval training. Also, for this group, power lifting can be extremely useful. Endomorph training. Typically obese, people with these body types will often benefit from weight training. The more lean muscle mass they have, the higher their basal metabolic rate will be and thus, the more calories they will burn every day. It's also important for these types to engage in a good portion of low-intensity cardio training for about an hour per week on top of strength training, especially in the lower body. Another benefit of strength training for this group is psychological. Being that they've carried extra weight, they will likely be more familiar with this exertion. When someone carries extra weight, even standing up is an exercise that requires strength, so they can use this to their advantage. For women, you can be sure that strength training will not cause you to bulk up. Also remember that for someone carrying a lot of extra weight, even walking long distances can cause a lot of repetitive stress injuries. The critical thing with this body type is avoiding injury. If you walk, keep it to 20 minutes at a time for the first six weeks or so. As the weight comes off, this can go longer. Or just get cardio exercise in the form of the elliptical, the rower, or other machines that are easy on the joints. For lifting weights in this population, consider squats, lunges, and deadlifts as you lose your initial weight and develop the strength you need to support your frame for more sophisticated movements. Remember those are general guidelines, not rules. Remember that body types are not a hard science, they are more generalities. This is because there are a host of factors involved, some that can be controlled, like diet and exercise, 
and others that can't be, like genetics. One great means of comparison between mesomorphs and ectomorphs is thinking of the difference between a rugby player and a soccer player, respectively. Both can run long distances, but the soccer player will likely run faster, and the rugby player will likely have more power and brute strength. Overall, make sure that you are training safely and in a way that keeps you engaged. Training based on your body type is a great way to ensure you stay involved, safe, and happy. If you enjoyed our videos, hit the like button, share and tell us in the comments below what's your body type and how you are training. Subscribe now to the channel to learn more on how to improve your body and take this journey with us.